Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be talking about this shoe, the New Balance Fuel Cell Propel. So this is the New Balance Fuel Cell Propel and this shoe weighs 9.4 ounces in my size and actually for me um, anything or any shoe that close to 10 ounces for me that actually feels pretty heavy but this shoe actually doesn't feel that way I have a shoe that you know it's actually even like lighter than this the Flynet version 2 and I believe it's like 0.3 ounces like lighter but that shoe actually feels heavier when I run compared to this one. I would say that um, if I'm just actually walking around, I can feel that there's a little bit of weight in the shoe. But when I start running and especially when I get into that really nice rhythm, the shoe becomes like pretty light and also pretty fast as well. So the midsole of the shoe is actually very soft and bouncy. And it has that really nice thread pattern like the outsole rubber that has like really nice grip on the road to be honest the feel of the midsole really reminds me of the the Sokonic Envara that I actually had before like really bouncy feel that it's very very comfortable in the feet when I'm running some people would even describe it as like a marshmallow like feel midsole so that would be, I would say, the best way to describe the feel of this cushion or this midsole. And the upper of this is actually one thing that I really, really like. The upper is really soft and really breathable. And it's, it has that really nice, good snag on the forefoot that it's not too loose or too tight. It's just like, just the snag is just right that the foot does not really move too much and it secures the foot really well especially I'm actually you know like picking up the pace a little bit the heel cup or the heel counter of the shoe is also really soft and has like some padding that provides like comfort and it secures the heel really good so when I run like I can feel that it's very comfortable and it's, the heel is very secure and didn't have any issues like blister issues or something like that so it's really really good and comfortable but the only thing that you know I'm like really curious about is this extra thing that's sticking out and to be honest I don't really know what is the purpose of this actually the first time I used the shoe it kind of like to be honest bothered me a little bit because there's you know like something that's like touching my heel at the back and it's for me just pretty unnecessary but um, as I use the shoe more and more you know that kind of feeling disappears so it's not really an issue anymore so in the lacing system it's just really basic and like just the traditional lacing system and I actually like this a lot because this can actually lock the foot down really well compared to like the more modern type like lacing system for example the Flynet version that this is like you know like pretty modern type of lacing system that the tongue as you can see it it's actually really connected to like the entire upper and it's also really stretchy this thing does not really like lock the foot down really well what really happens that um, when I try tighten like the lace, it's just mostly like constricting actually my like my foot, and it's pretty uncomfortable. But it does not really give that really nice lockdown on the foot because this is very stretchy. That's why this lacing system is actually a lot better compared to like more like most modern like lacing system nowadays. Actually, I was not even expecting this. You know, when I got the shoe, I was actually really, really surprised that this shoe is actually really big. 
and you know I use like Nike Zoomfly version one. I actually have three pairs of those because I really like I really like the Zoomfly version one a lot. And I thought th that shoe was actually big, but this one is actually a lot bigger than that. And it just feels like really wide, like here in the basically like here in the cushion. It's it's really big. It's really wide. It's, it's just a really big shoe, and I'm actually surprised about it. And this shoe actually doesn't have any propulsion. That is also one thing that I'm a little bit disappointed about this because I know New Balance is actually known for that kind of thing. Like even like here, you can see it that like the structure or the shape of the shoe that you know it should have that really nice propulsion when you run kind of like push you off but this one doesn't really have that feel it's like really soft and comfortable but it feels really flat when i'm landing so yeah like i said i'm a little bit disappointed about that because that's really one thing that i like about new balance but this one doesn't really have that kind of feel i would say that I would put this shoe in like an easy to recovery type of workouts or those longer runs because just the overall feel of the shoe is like really comfortable so when your legs are so beat up from all the workouts and you still need to get those you know those workouts to, to finish the week then if you put this on you can still basically get some miles and because this will provide like comfort and that would be a little bit easier for you, you know, to finish the week using the shoe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you all in the next episode.